Hey everybody, this is Devin, this hey. is Bobby. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, thank you. Say hi. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> All right, let's get the uh, other equipment and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, there we go. What's going on guys? Another day, another video. And it's a pretty good day so far. I'm having a lot of fun. And there's my dog at the door, hang on. <laughs> Be careful when you walk over stuff. You're good. Just be good. Don't hit the lights. You're good. You're fine. There's uh, it's Christy uh, walking by the camera stuff as I'm trying to. They don't take vlogging serious in this house, but you know I do, and that's all that matters. Okay. Back to my spiel. Hold on. Wait. Actually, do you want to pass me my AirPod case? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this way she can like distract herself while I'm making these videos. So there's your AirPods. Thanks. And then we got Malo over here that wants to be on camera. He's just here because Christy has food and he wants whatever food she has. But I think she has chocolate and you can't eat chocolate, can you, Molo? Oh, he's growling at me. Oh no, I scared him. Oh no, love you, bye. But like I was saying, um, it's been a pretty good day so far. And also, what's cool about these videos is the more I make them, the more fun I have making them. Case in point, you just saw Christy and Molo uh, destroy my take, but it's okay. I'm okay with it, it's whatever. But but for reals, I get to meet new people and interact with different photographers and just see how they operate and what their process is compared to mine, and it's a lot of fun. Speaking of which, I got the chance to meet and work with another really cool photographer. His name is Devin, and don't worry, I'll put his info down below. In fact, pause the video, go like all of his stuff, and then come back. All right, anyways, uh, to make this intro short for the sake of time, uh, me and Devin went out and did some street photography, uh, which is something I don't really do like ever, and it was a lot of fun. So I guess without further ado, uh, here's the video. Enjoy, watch it. Go, go! So I have next to me a uh, Mr. Uh, Devin, is it pronounced Bove or Bove? Bove, yes. Bove, okay, nice. If you don't follow him, please do. He's f***ing awesome, for reals. All right, so um, about a month ago, maybe about two months ago, mm -hmm. I posted this thing on social media asking local photographers yeah. uh, to be a part of my YouTube channel. And I got about six responses, pretty modest. And so what about, I guess, this channel so far uh, has drawn you towards it? Yeah, so a few different things. Number one, I, I was hooked on your portrait photography. So that really drew me into you and, and, and your Instagram profile. Um, then you started posting videos, and I was like, man, these videos are really cool. I'm not a big YouTube guy, but I started getting into yours so it was really cool I saw the opportunity to, to jump on that with you and definitely wanted to do it I appreciate that and I'm gonna start to blush so please stop it so let's talk about gear for street photography so what do you really need a camera and so a strap that's it that's it that's all you need Street photography, a camera, a strap, a good size memory card because you'll take a lot of photos. That's true. I carry a tripod, obviously always a backpack with me, and a few extra batteries and stuff of that sort. Okay. But DSLRs, the battery life is incredible, so you can you can run a battery almost all day. All right, so we're gonna try to do some, uh, well, I'm gonna try to emulate uh, some of Devin's masterwork and do some urban photography. I, I don't do urban photography too much, so we'll see if I, if I live up to his standards, but uh, <laughs> let's get started, why not? <laughs> My dog is still down there watching me with his his eyes and it's kind of awkward. He won't take his eyes off of me. All right, anyways. All right, so when me and Devin, or Devin and I, I guess that's the grammatically correct way to say it. Wait, what'd you say? It's the grammatically correct way, Devin and I. It's more grammatically correct. I got it. When myself and Sir Devin Look. Sir Devin, when myself and Sir Devin said let's go make a video about urban street photography, I assumed that meant like buildings and just gritty shots of downtown. Now what I didn't know was that Devin has a natural knack for approaching random strangers on the street for a photograph, which is super cool. But me being the awkward mess that I am, not really my cup of tea. You see, typically I know who I'm gonna shoot before I shoot them. So it was really cool seeing Devin with confidence capture the shot regardless of what it was or in this case, who it was. Check it out. I'm probably gonna grab this thing. Go for it. 
when I did to praise you because of your righteous ordinances. I am a companion of all who fear you, of those who keep your precepts, the earth, O Lord. The earth, O Lord, is full, fast teaches me your statutes. You have talked well. You guys didn't miss a beat. Not really. <laughs> yeah. I like that. So I know you do mostly uh, street photography, like urban landscape type yeah. stuff. Although you have done portrait stuff too, I've seen that work. But what about street photography, I guess, pulls you in? What about it um, inspires you to keep doing it? Right, so there's really just a few things. Um, I like walking, you know, downtown Fresno, especially with my backpack, my camera. Um, there's so many places here locally to photograph. There's so many people to photograph. Um, you'd be surprised at how many people will actually let me just take their photo um, just by asking them. Really? Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. So like complete strangers, you walk up to them right. and just, that's insane, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that was pretty impressive. Like, I can never approach a stranger and do that, ever. I just don't have it in me. I'll walk up, I'll start to stutter and mumble. That was impressive. <laughs> Um, how long have you been into photography? Like, when did the uh, the photography bug bite and uh, sink its teeth into you? Right. So, like, 2007, um, I was over in the Bay Area. If a car's coming, call it out. I had a basic, uh, basic level DSLR. What do you look for? Like, is it more the architecture? Is it more just like the, right. like uh, people? Is it like what? Or just a combination of all of it? It's just whatever catches my eye. Okay. Yeah. Kind of shooting activist events and uh, and landscapes. Let's use that. So I'm gonna have you maybe stand like right here and maybe doing one of these with your camera. All right, turn towards me. Uh, kind of doing that stuff. Moved back home to Fresno here. Bought a film camera. I've been quietly shooting film ever since. Portraits of my family and stuff of that sort. So I'm trying to combine his like street photography with my portrait photography to see what we can do. So recently I picked up a, a nice DSLR and I've been banana since then. Let's have that hand on the strap. I'm just looking up this way, okay. like that, yeah? I'm gonna get all that behind you though, okay? So I'm, gonna I'm gonna get super low for this. One, two, three. Good. Not too bad, right? You, I want you to pick a spot that, that you're familiar with and comfortable shooting at. So what about this location uh, do you like? So I love the Fulton Mall. I've been coming here for a long time. Um, just the changing landscape of this place and me watching it change uh, has just made me really comfortable here. Uh, back in college I was doing my homework here. You know, I was doing everything here, bringing my kids here on bike rides. Just a little bit of everything so I am fully comfortable here walking around the shops and all that stuff. The people here are really, really cool. Um, you'd be surprised, you just start talking to them, the stories you'd get from some of these folks. So it's just it's just a really neat, really interesting little place in Fresno. Some shots of this too.
the uh, the 50 millimeter on there. Got my nifty 50. So do you, do you plan to do more uh, portrait work going forward? Um, I definitely want to start photographing people more and more. Okay. That's my goal. That's where I'm going towards. Um, but my passion for street will always be, be there. that. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to, to photograph people um, and people in different ways. People doing things and. I'm not a really big photographer on, hey, stand there, let's take your picture. Yeah. Um, I really like to catch people maybe at work or, or doing something, something that they're comfortable with. Sure. Um, I feel like I can capture some great moments with that. Alright, so before I say goodbye, the last video I posted, I asked you guys to, uh, uh, via Instagram, to tell me how it made you feel. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up here, check it out. Um, and boy, I got me some responses. So allow me to share a few of those responses. Uh, one person said, Bobby's video made me feel ready to start making videos. Nice, thanks. Um, two other people said, Bobby's video made me feel inspired and like I should just go for it. Well, um, then you should just go for it. I'm not the best inspirational speaker, but but thanks. That makes me feel like I did something good. This person said, uh, Bobby's video made me feel bored. I paused it just so I can watch my dog poop because that's more entertaining. Although he did follow it up with, JK man, I liked it a lot. Still kind of hurts, but it's okay. Let's see. Oh, you'll like this one. Uh, this one said, Bobby's video made me feel like, where the heck was our boo thing, Christy? That's right. Wow, another Christy response. Bobby's video made me feel empty without Christy. All right, fine. Y'all want Christy in these videos? Step on up. Your people demand more Christy, so let's give them more Christy. Uh, what are you doing? That's that. That was it? That's all, that's all they get? Just, uh... Yeah. But anyways, thanks for the responses, and I guess until next time, uh, bye. So fun fact about me, I used to think I was a skater back in like middle school. Okay. But then funny story, one day I fractured my arm and never picked up the skateboard ever again because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was just not, I was not about that life. So <laughs> funny story. <laughs>